moment is brought to you by Recreations Taxidermy. The partners of Gobi Heat stay warm always. Greener Living Products. Highway Mart Archery Shop in Western Wear. And by Rack Stacker, Canada's leader in big game attractants. What's up guys, all right? Well, we, uh, we got everything set up at the camper. Now we're headed out, we'll go do and see if we can't spot something for the evening. And maybe put a stock on something tonight, but if not, get something locked in for the morning. So, excited, B's, uh, B's been saying he's gonna get me on some deer. So I guess I'll see it when I, or believe it when I see it, so. This is where the magic happens, folks. <laughs> Stay tuned. Out here, pull up to the first coolie, look over, merely shed sitting there. So, is that, B, does that mean we're gonna shoot one or what? It's a good omen, buddy. Very good omen. I mean, obviously, you guys can tell it's pretty unbelievable mule deer country. Pretty blessed that B would bring me down here. Now, time to go find one with this thing still on its head. Seeing some big ones. <laughs> getting started. Holy. 70 deer in three hours? B told me we, we left out, or left the camp. He was like, if we don't see 100 deer tonight, I'm cooking. I was like, oh, yeah, whatever, you'll be cooking. So I downloaded a counter on my phone. And yeah, we're at like <laughs> 73 deer. And there's still another hour of light left. And how many bucks? Probably a, at least over a, at least a third or box. So we're um, Yeah, <laughs> I don't even know what to say <laughs> This is nuts. All right. Well, keep watching I guess one look at the the third the last one oh my gosh B that was insane absolutely insane So we th B thinks he knows where they're going, so we're um, hopefully going to go catch him, uh, bed down and relax. There's a lot of eyes, so it makes it a little tougher, but see if we can't make something happen um, today at some point. So we'll uh, try and find him and uh, yeah, go from there.
guys well yeah we, tonight we're gonna go sit that alfalfa field at the bales that we saw that big group in there's probably two or three that i'd shoot in there for sure so we're um yeah gotta pick a bale and pr pray for the rest i guess so but it'll be a lot of fun um obviously sitting in god's country is, is never a bad time so what do you figure be gonna shoot one tonight i hope so me too <laughs> But yeah. uh, many words. <laughs> Not very many words. But yeah, yeah. So we got today, tomorrow, and uh, Sunday morning yet. Yeah. But hopefully get her done tonight. Morning crew, so still got some face paint on. But we uh what time is at 5.55? We're on the road a little after 5.30 this morning, so I'm gonna go see if we can find something and uh, watch it and put it to bed. It's usually the best option for mule deer in the mornings. Evenings are tough, like last night, they're feeding, it's tough to catch them if they don't come out right by you. We were close. But yeah. Old boss man over there figures he knows what he's doing, so. Young fellas. Young bucks. Young guns. Oh.
Alright guys, so he went about 300 yards. Um, when he was, after I hit him, he was spinning in circles. He was hurting, couldn't run. So he went in there and we haven't seen him in, in about an hour. So we're gonna make our way in there and hopefully he's just laying there. Be a figure, boys. All right, guys. So we walked up, and he was still kicking a little bit. So we gave him a couple more minutes, but he's uh, he's toast now. <laughs> oh, first archery nailed it. Oh my god. So the first shot was just, he was slightly quartered away and just a touch far back, he kind of dropped, you can see, but that second one, he was kind of quartered too, at 61 yards in the cattail and drilled him. He went, how far did he go? 30. 30 yards. Oh, thank you, Lord. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. It's been a, it's been a blast hunting them and a lot of unsuccessful stocks. I mean, it's my first archery deer in eight years, so I'm over the moon. B, get in here. Get in here, buddy. I hope you don't mind a little blood on your hands. Me? Not at all, bud. <laughs> Thanks for having me down, man. I appreciate it. So yeah, we uh, this, yeah, this morning we were driving by. We saw him in the canola, so we kept we stopped. He kind of stood his head up and made a plan. 
he went back down, came up the draw, and B came in from the far side, and you were probably 35 yards from him. Yeah. I was 42, and the rest is history. He's good. Right on, well, we'll get some pictures and then get to work. Murray, Ty, thanks for coming to help. Yeah.